Hi, welcome to a virtual Pilates mat class. Today we're just going to work on mobilizing the body. So we're mainly working through the shoulders, the spine, as well as the hips. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start on hands and knees, bringing your hands right underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the pelvis and feel free to just relax the toes or feel free to also tuck them under whichever suits you all right now we're going to inhale doing some cat and cow really deepening the curve of the spine and then exhale lift the head and open those sit bones wide inhale round and exhale arc three more times inhale round and exhale arc two more inhale round and exhale arc good last one inhale round and exhale to arc holding your arc position let's reverse the breathing inhale here and exhale scoop the bellies you round the spine pushing the mat away inhale lift the head open the heart open the sit bones and exhale round Three more times. Deep breaths. Two. Exhale. Good. Last one. Inhale. And exhale round. Good. Come to a neutral spine and open the knees slightly wider. And we're just going to do some hip circles in one direction. Good, moving the hips forward to the side, to the back and around. Good, and then reverse when you're ready for the same amount. Good, and then from here, you're gonna bring the feet together, open the knees even wider and sit your hips back into a child's pose. Now, let's see if you can really press the hands into the mat. Find a lift in the underarms. Good, deep breaths. Exhale, see if you can push your hands into the mat to get your hips heavier on the heels. Two more breaths. Feel that long spine. One more deep breath in and exhale good slowly come back up good and then from here we're going to flip over onto our seat for the roll down all right so you're going to um, hold behind the thighs sitting up nice and tall take a deep breath in and then exhale pelvic tilt to c curve till the arms extend drawing the belly and rib cage back inhale come up and then exhale lift and again inhale scoop good exhale curl forward and inhale come up good round feel the belly engage good and slowly come up good adding on to this we're gonna slowly round down scooping the belly good reach those fingertips forward and hold here for eight seven six five four three two one hold behind the thighs round forward and stack the spine all the way up let's do that again curling back so make sure your feet are flat on the mat knees are still hip width apart reach those fingertips forward and hold eight seven six five four three two one hold curl forward and stack the spine all the way up good now let's bring those knees together reach your fingertips forward and we're going to take a 10 count roll down so we're going all the way down 10 nine keep the shoulders away from the ears collarbone is broad eight seven six 
five, four, three, two, one. Head touches down. Good. And then hug the knees into the chest. Good. And rock side to side, please. Deep breaths. Good. Place your feet down, hip width apart. We're just going to do a couple of pelvic tilts to continue to warm up the lower back. So place your hands on your hips, keeping in your neutral spine. Take just one breath and let everything go and sink into the mat. Good. Now we're going to inhale into our neutral spine and then exhale, curl the tailbone up towards the ceiling as you posteriorly tilt your pelvis, pressing the lower back into the mat. Good. Inhale to release. Exhale, scoop and curl. Inhale to release. Three more times. Exhale and release. Good. And exhale, belly button draws down to the spine. And release. Last one. Exhale, pelvic tilt. And inhale to release. Good. Now from here, let's hug those knees into the chest, preparing for the hundred. So today, let's do the hundred in our tabletop. You're going to open the knees, um, shoulder width apart. And I like to bring the heels together, toes two inches apart, arms are long down by your sides. You're going to inhale, lift head, neck and shoulders, hovering the arms about an inch and we're going to pump. Inhale, three, four, five, exhale, inhale, exhale, three, exhale, four, Exhale, five, exhale, five more, exhale, four, exhale, three, two, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, five, two more, exhale, last one. Exhale, three, four, five. Good, slowly hug the knees into the chest. Good, rock side to side. And then from here, we're just gonna um, add a little bit of a twist. So we're going to bring the feet um, so that they're mat width apart and open the arms out to the sides, palms down on the floor. And then you're gonna let the knees fall to the right. Good, and then scoop the belly as you move it across to the left. Feel free to turn your head to the opposite shoulder and to the right and to the left. Good, and then slowly bring the knees back to center and hug it in. Good, now from here, you're gonna place your feet down and we're gonna go into some bridging. So arms are down by your sides, spine is neutral. Keep the feet pressing on the mat. Make sure those knees are hip width apart. You're gonna inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, you're gonna press on the feet as you peel the hips off the mat, reaching up towards the ceiling. Knees reach forward, feel those inner thighs engaged. So imagine a ball between the knees. And then carefully inhale and exhale slowly. Arms come forward and hips come down. And again, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale into your bridge. Good. Inhale, come up and exhale slowly. Lower hips, arms go down. One more time. Inhale, exhale, reach up. Press on those feet. Now take a look at your hips. Make sure that they're square. Feel free to adjust where you need. Keep drawing the abdominals down to your spine and then inhale, lift the arms up and exhale, float the hips down as the arms come down. Good. From here, you're going to extend your legs, bring those heels together, toes two inches apart, arms come up and slowly roll up and exhale. Reach forward as you pull the belly rib cage back, slowly roll the spine down. 
and exhale, reach the arms overhead. And again, lift up, peeling off the mat. Good, and reach, 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 and lower down. Exhale all the way down. Let's do two more, lifting up. Good, and stretch and reach, 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 and lower. Good, last one, lifting up. Good, and stretch and reach, 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 and then slowly lower down with control, massaging through the spine. And exhale, reach the arms over. Feel free to just rest them on the floor, open the rib cage, deep breath into the front body. And then exhale, slowly bring the arms down by the sides. Good, now from here you're gonna press those shoulders into the mat, keeping the collarbone broad. You're gonna carefully parallel the feet or parallel the legs and flex the feet. Good, now from here you're gonna carefully bring the right heel into the chest, right knee into the chest, and then hold on to your shin and then slowly do some circles here. So circle out, forward, around and up. So about three to five. Good, again, mobilizing the hip. Two, and then reverse. Three, four, and five. Good, from here, arms come down, stretch the right leg up. Good, now from here, you could hold behind the thigh, you're gonna point and flex the foot. Point and flex, point and flex. Let's do one more, point and flex. Now point the foot, externally rotate that right leg from the hip, arms come down, and then you're gonna go across the body, down, around, and up for single leg circles. Two, three, inhale, exhale to lift. One more, and then reverse, out, circle forward, across, and up, out, forward, across, and up, three, forward, across, and up, two more, Good, last one. Good, and then slowly stretch that leg as you float it nice and slow all the way down. Once it touches the mat, flex the right foot, draw the left knee into the chest. Let's repeat it on this side. So we're gonna circle. Good. Three, four, and five. And reverse, five, circle four, Circle three, circle two, circle one. Good, from here, right leg is rooted on the mat. Slide your arms down by your sides. Open up the chest. Good, stretch the left leg up. Oh, I forgot. We can hold behind the left thigh to point and flex the foot. So toes reach up, then heel, then toes, then heel. Two more. Feeling that nice opening in the back of the leg. Good, and then you're gonna point, keep the leg or foot pointed. Arms come down, externally rotate from the hip, and then we're gonna go across the body, down, around, and up. Inhale, exhale, lift. Three, exhale, lift. Four, exhale, lift, and five, exhale, reverse. Out, across, and up. Out, across, and up. Three, across and up. Two more, across and up. Last one, across and up. Good, reach that leg out of its hip socket as you slowly lower all the way down. Good, once it touches the mat, keep those heels together, point those toes, lift the arms up for a roll up, lifting up, and exhale, reach, 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 and then slowly roll the spine up. Good. Now from here, you're gonna move your seat forward to the front of your mat for rolling like a ball. All right, so holding on to your ankles or your shins, you're gonna to try to sit as close as possible to the heels, good. And then from here, you're gonna to start to pelvic tilt and again, round C-curve the spine. So my back is super tight, so this has always been super difficult for me. All right, so now we're gonna keep drawing the heels in. We're gonna inhale as you round back and exhale, come up. 
Good. Inhale. Exhale, come up. Good. Inhale. Exhale, come up. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale, come up. Let's do two more. Keep hugging those heels together. Good. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, come up and hold. 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 Good. Let's just lower the feet here for a second. Slide your um, seat back. Bring the bottoms of the feet together and just fold over the legs. Good. Deep breaths here. Deep breath in, especially to those tight places. Like right now I'm feeling my hips. Good, super tight, need a little bit more space there. So use the breath. And exhale. Good, slowly roll the spine up. Good, now from here, Let's do our um, spine stretch forward. So you're going to open your feet to the width of your mat, flex the feet, and really find yourself high up on your sit bones. So feel free to bend the knees if this is uh, too much for your hip flexors or the backs of the legs. Now you're going to reach your arms um, shoulder height and shoulder width. So trying your best to stack the spine. You're going to inhale. You're going to squeeze your seat and lift a little taller. Crown of the head is reaching up. Keep flexing the feet and then you're going to roll forward as you pull the belly rib cage back. Good. Inhale to stack. Exhale. All the air out of the lungs. Good. Inhale. Come up. Exhale. Let's do two more here. Inhale, exhale, mobilizing the spine. Good, last one, inhale, lift, and exhale, scoop. Good, inhale, stack the spine up, and slowly float the arms down. Good, bring the legs in together and shake out the legs. Good, now from here, we're gonna slowly roll down to our back, and bring the knees into the chest. So let's do the first two of the series of five. So keeping the knees in, you're gonna slowly lift head, neck, and shoulders off the mat, looking at your belly, holding on to the right leg. So right hand on right ankle, left hand on right knee, and then stretch the left leg forward. So pick a spot uh, outside the window or on the wall and switch. Good, aim for the same spot and switch. Push and pull, switch, push and pull, switch, push and pull, switch. Good. Four, four, five, five, six, six. Let's do two more sets. Seven, seven, and eight, and eight. Both knees in and slowly lower head, neck, and shoulders down. Good. If you feel like your neck is getting a little bit tired, feel free to move your head side to side. Good. Awesome. And then from here, we're going to lift head, neck and shoulders up. Good. So what I want you to do here is you're going to stretch the arms forward of the ears and stretch the legs up. Good. You're going to circle the arms and pull the knees in. Stretch arms and legs. Circle and pull in. Stretch arms and legs. Keep looking forward in between the knees or at your belly button and circle. Good. Out, circle in. Inhale, out, circle in. Good. Three more. Circle in. Two more. Circle in. Last one. Circle in and slowly lower head, neck, and shoulders down. Good. Rock side to side. Awesome. Now from here, let's place our hands once again on the floor, bringing the legs in tabletop. Good. Now keep drawing the belly down towards the mat. You're going to lower the knees over to the left as you bring your gaze over to the right. So knee doesn't actually touch the floor. I want you to feel this active twist and use your abdominals to control the movement of the legs. 
So exhale through the middle. Inhale, knees reach to the right. Scoop the belly as you bring it across. Left. And scoop. And right. Good. And scoop. And left. And scoop. And right. Good. And scoop. Awesome. Hug the knees into the chest. Good. And carefully extend the legs. And let's flip over onto our belly. All right. So from here, you're going to place one hand on top of the other and bring it underneath the forehead. Tops of the feet stay down on the mat. So really work on pressing even the pinky toes into the mat. All right. Now from here, keeping the hand attached to the forehead, feel a slight lift in the belly button away from the mat. So you're going to inhale, you're going to find length in the spine and lift the upper body off the mat. Good. Elbows are broad, spine lengthens. Good. And then slowly lower down. And again, inhale, lift up and exhale, float down. Two more. Inhale to lift and exhale to float. Last one. Inhale to lift and exhale to float. Good. Now from here, we're going to bring our hands outside of the shoulders. Hover them above your mat. Keep the feet, tops of the feet pressing down in the mat. Same thing. We're going to inhale, lift up. Good. Exhale, lower down. Two more. Inhale, float up. And exhale, lower down. Keep the collarbone broad. Inhale, lift. Now press the hands into the mat. Continue to rise up. Good. Turn your head to the right. Turn your head down. Turn your head left and center. Turn your head left. Circle down. Circle to the right. Center. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, float down and bring the hands up when you can control your descent. Good. And then from here, press yourself back into a child's pose. Good. Deep breaths. And again, see if you can dig those hands into the mat and lengthen the spine as you send the hips back and down. Two more breaths. Good, last one. And slowly let it go. Good, from here, you're gonna come back forward onto your belly. Prop yourself up on elbows. So imagine holding candlesticks between um, in your fists. So again, we're not collapsing in the chest. We're using our elbows to find a nice lift in the upper body. Good. Belly button is pulling towards the back to relieve any kind of um, stress in the lower back. And then keeping the feet um, pointed, you're going to kick, kick into your seat and kick, kick. Two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 five. Let's do three more sets. Six, 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 seven, 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 seven. Last set, eight, 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 eight. Good. Bring both feet down and then bring your right face cheek onto the mat. Hands on the upper back or actually mid back and let the um, elbows just fall to the side. Draw the legs together and then you're going to kick the legs in simultaneously into your seat. We're going to kick one, kick two, kick three. Press the feet down on your mat. Slide the hands down the back. As you open the chest, lengthen. Two, three, turn the left cheek down. And again, kick one, kick two, kick three. Press, lift, lengthen the body. Good, and slowly lower down. One more each side. Kick one, two, three, press, reach, lengthen. 
Good. And lower down, left face cheek, and kick one, kick two, kick three, press, lift, lengthen and hold. Good. Now from here, I want you to release the grip of your hands, reach the arms forward, lift both legs up, and let's just go for a swim here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, five, inhale, exhale, Three, two, three, four, five. Exhale, three, four, five. Two more. Exhale, three, four, five. Last set. Exhale, three, four, five. Slowly let everything go. And once again, hands outside the shoulders. Press yourself back. Knees wide. Child's pose. Three deep breaths here. Good, one more. Good, keeping your seat on your heels, you're gonna slowly roll the spine up. Good, head comes up, and then we are going to go right into the sidekick series. So let's lie down on our left side. All right, so I'm gonna have the back edge of my um, or my back right up against the back edge of my mat. All right, so one line from my left elbow down to my um, tailbone, and then I'm gonna bring the legs forward towards the front edge of my mat, and then my top hand is in front of my belly. So here you wanna make sure that your hips are stacked, legs are even, good. And then we're gonna externally rotate the top leg. We're gonna point to lift and flex to float it down. Good, point to lift and flex as you reach it down. Good, point and flex and point and flex. Let's do four more. Point and flex and point and flex. Two more, point and flex and point and flex. Good, from here, keep the heels together. Let's do small circles going back, five, four, good. Three, two, one, reverse for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. From here, we're gonna do some clams. So bending those knees, hips are still stacked, knees are stacked. Here we go, we're gonna open and close. Two, close, three, close, four, five, six, seven, eight, close. Lift both feet up. Here we go, we're gonna open and close. Two, three, four, five, three more, three, two, and one, and close. Good, lower the feet down. Give yourself a little bit of a pat there. And let's flip over onto our backs for a nice little figure four stretch. All right, so from here, feet are flat on the mat. You're gonna flex the right foot, cross it above the left thigh. Good, and for some of you, this is enough. You can already feel the opening there in the hip as you widen that knee forward. Good, if your body allows, you can draw both knees into the chest and interlace your hands behind the left thigh as you hug it in. Good, while you're continuing to spin the knee forward. Good, deep breaths. I even like to press my tailbone down towards the mat as I simultaneously hug my knees in just for a deeper stretch there in the sacral area and in the hip. Deep breaths. Good, one more inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower the foot down, bring the other foot down, and then let's flip over onto our right side and repeat the side kicks on this side. All right, so once again, find your alignment with the back edge of your mat. Good. Legs are forward. Good, 
legs are stacked or hips are stacked and legs are stacked. Good. Top hand supports you here. Keep a nice long spine. Upper body stays steady. Externally rotate the top leg and we're going to point to lift and flex to lower down. Point to lift and flex to lower. And three. And lower. And four. And lower. Four more. Four. Reach out of that hip. Three and lower, two, reach, good, last one, and reach all the way down, good. Now from here, we're gonna circle, go, uh, circles going back, five, four, three, brushing that lower heel, two, one, reverse for five, four, three, two, one, good. Now from here, we're gonna bend the knees into your clams, same thing like we did on the other side, keeping both feet together first, we're gonna open and close. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and close. Lift both feet up, same thing here, we're gonna open, close. Two, close, three, close, four, close, four more, three, two, and one, and close, good, slowly lower down, give yourself a little pat there, and then let's flip over onto our back for the figure four on this side, so once again, flex the left foot first before you place it across the right thigh, Good, feel the opening there in the left hip as you reach and open the knee to the front. Good, and then if your body allows, you can draw both knees in and hug it in. So again, for a deeper stretch, keep reaching that tailbone down towards the mat as you draw the knees in. Good, deep breaths. Two more. Good, last deep breath. Good, and then slowly lower one foot down and the other foot down. Good, and then hug both knees into the chest. Rock side to side. Good, and then from here, you're gonna carefully bring the feet down, turn to one side, Good, and then press yourself up. Good. Now from here, I'm gonna flip over this way. We are going to um, do just a little portion of the neck pull. So you're gonna place your hands behind your head. So right, like by the neck. So in the, um, right between the neck and the head, all right? And then you're gonna broaden your elbows out to the side. So again, feel free to bend your knees if it's too much on your hip flexors or on the thighs. Now, you're trying to push your um, head, neck into your hands as you try to pull your hands um, forward, keeping the elbows broad. Now, sitting up nice and tall. Good, you're gonna just slowly, without changing the curvature of your spine, you're gonna press back. Keep the rib cage closed, belly pulls in and slowly come up. Good, and again, reach back, lengthen the spine, rib cage stays closed, use your powerhouse to bring it back forward. Three more, inhale, exhale, two more, exhale, Good, last one, deep breath as you lean back. Lengthen the spine, rib cage in, and slowly bring it forward. Good, from here, bend those knees and shake it out. Good, and then from here, open the knees once again, bottoms of the feet together, and fold forward. Good, deep breath in, and exhale. Good, two more, deep breath in, and exhale. Last one, deep breath in, and exhale. 
Good, and then from here, you're gonna roll the spine up. Awesome, and then we're gonna go ahead and come to standing. Good, so from here, we are going to do the um, Pilates push-up. So go to one side of your mat. Good, let's bring the heels together, toes two inches apart, and find your stance. So your Pilates stance, so feel your thighs wrapping around. Good, pelvis, so tailbone is long. There's a little bit of a lift in the um, lower belly. Okay, then we're gonna inhale, lift the arms up, and then we're gonna dive forward. So feel free to bend the knees as much as you need and lower the hands all the way down to your mat. Once the hands are down, you're gonna walk up for one, two, three, four. So find your plank, and now either you could lower the knees down. So let's actually just do that for today. El elbows are really tucking in, all right? So as you lower down, you're gonna bend the elbows, elbows brush against the rib cage, and you're gonna push up. And again, lower down, press up two. Lower down, press up three. And then from here, you can lift the knees up, find your downward dog, get those heels together, and then walk back in. One, two, three, four. Good, keep squeezing those inner thighs together. Feel the belly scoop as you slowly roll up. Nice and slow, all the way up. Good, let's do that one more time. So inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Place the hands down on the mat. Feel free to bend. Good. Walk out. One, two, three, four. Find your plank. Lower the knees. Good. And then again, we're going to lower. Elbows are in. And slowly push up. Good. Brush the rib cage as you lower. Slowly push up. Good, one more, keep drawing the belly towards the spine, slowly push up, and then again, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, find those heels in Pilates V, and walk back, two, three, four, good, and then roll the spine all the way up. Good, all right, now from here, let's go back down on our mat, Good, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of a um, shoulder mobilizer, which is one of my favorites. So you're just gonna lie down on your right side. Good. And then you're just gonna let um, the, the bottom arm hang out, or you could even bring it underneath your head. So whichever is more comfortable. Now, you're gonna take the top arm and hover it above the floor so it's in line with your shoulder now from here you're going to start reaching so my palms facing down reaching up good and then you're going to start to twist and open the chest up towards the ceiling as you open the arm palm facing up out circling it back and then as it comes towards the hips you're going to bring it to face down again and so you're gonna rest your hand on your hand or arm. Good, again, reach up, open the chest, circle it back. So find the area that you really need to open. You could even stay there and just breathe. Circle it to the hip. Good, and again, reach. Good, twist, reach back, good and slowly bring it in now let's reverse all right and then you're going to reach it down towards the hip start to flip the palm up towards the ceiling good you're going to open the chest up towards the ceiling as well as you circle the arm around and forward and again palm faces down twist open the chest up circle and come forward good one more time good open circle and come forward good and then from here 
I'm gonna push up and then we're gonna switch over to the other side. All right. Okay, so find, once again, your head resting on your arm. This is probably easier than having it down, but if you did, um, if you have a pillow or a towel, you could always place it underneath your head. All right, and then top arm comes forward, hovering about shoulder height, and then let's start to circle up. So we're gonna keep the palm down, circling up, open the chest up towards the ceiling. Good, circle it back too close to, <laughs> to the wall, and then slowly circle it forward. And again, circle it up, open the chest. Here's a nice twist. Good, reach back. Good, and then turn the palm down as you circle it forward. One more time. Good. Circle, palm starts to face down and come forward. Now let's reverse. You're gonna go down, open. Good, open that chest. Reach the arm out. Good, and come in. Good, and again. Circle. So again, work within your range of motion. Try not to do anything, or please don't do anything that is causing you pain. Good, wanna keep the body safe and slowly bring it up and forward. Good. And then from here, place your hands down on the mat and press yourself up. Good. Now from here, let's just um, come into a cross-legged uh, position. All right, and we're just gonna fold forward. So we're gonna get a nice stretch in the back, but as we're folding forward, I want you to first reach the chest down towards the floor instead of rounding the spine. So really long spine. So we're gonna inhale, take the arms up, lift out of the waist, and then start to pitch forward. So chest is reaching for the floor, lengthen nice and long, and then lower the hands down, and then fold. Good, deep breaths. Exhale. Good, two more here in the middle. Exhale, last one. Exhale, carefully walk your hands over to the right, bringing your forehead above the right knee. Try to reach the left arm or left hand as far right as you can as you pull that left hip down and back. Good, breathe into the left side body. Exhale, let it go. Two more. Exhale. Good, last one. And exhale. Good, carefully crawl your hands through the middle. Over to the left. Good, right hand reaches as far left as it can and I'm pulling my right hip back and down. Deep breaths, three deep breaths here. Let it go. Two more, let it go. Good, last one, let it go. And then slowly walk your hands back through uh, to center. Good, maybe you can crawl your fingertips a little bit more forward. Deep breath in, exhale, let it go. And then slowly inhale as you rise up, stacking one vertebra at a time, nice and slow. Good, one's head comes up. Just take a moment to feel the body, feel the energy shift. Relax the shoulders. Good, one more deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. And thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you next week. Have a wonderful evening, take care.